All right, guys. So, um, bird, it's kind of chilly. Oh, okay. Maybe it's a little chilly. All right, all right. So, wow, it's windy and cold. We're gonna go do like a quick same exact lap as I did with the far driver with the same amps and phase amps. So right now that's 100 battery line amps and 250 phase amps is what I put it at. So we're just gonna go see if we can make it up the hill like the same as the far driver did and uh, try to do somewhat of a comparison with the same spot and whatnot. So it was at 80 on the two previous rides, 80 amps at 100 and, uh, or 220 phase, I think. So we are turned up a little bit more than it was. Feeling pretty good. Oh, it stinks. A little less snowy than last time we were here, huh? All right, so, oh wow, some water in here. I'm not trying to get wet. All right, right here we got on it. So let's get on it. Okay. Guys, that might have been more powerful than the far driver came up it, honestly. Holy crap. Those extra 20 amps I can feel. So that was a pretty easy up. Oh no, we dropped my phone. Never supposed to put that in the rear pocket. Oh no. Oh. Face down too, that's not pretty. Whew. We're clean, just so you guys, if you were wondering, I drop this thing all the time. Let's go front pocket. All right, so that differs from the video. I actually forgot to turn this thing on. We should probably get a top speed today too. I probably should have put a helmet on. I wonder if I should pump my tire up if I go for top speed. I think I bent my front rim. Huh. Wow. <laughs> All right, so right here we got on it last time. Oh. Holy shit. Like nothing. It's hard to tell, but that's a super steep hill. beating this thing. Woo <laughs> um, last time we turned around right here. Let's see if we can squeeze through. Maybe not. Same whip around. So, guys, I don't know. The, the flip sky is feeling good. Um, I guess I will have to do a more accurate riding um, and see how far we get now that I changed it up to 100 amps since we were at 80. So uh, we were doing a lot more miles. So I don't know, maybe we'll, maybe we'll be down on our mileage turning it up that 20 amps. We'll find out. Um, I know I didn't touch base on tuning and I am having some weird stuff going on to where like, if I'm moving backwards, nothing's happening. So that's weird. Um, we have some grindiness taken off. So I am kind of babying that, and you guys aren't seeing it. Um, so we got to dial kind of stuff like that in. Rolling burnout like nothing. So as I've said before, this thing is like, uh, this reminds me of getting on my 450 in my backyard, just cause if I was on a dirt bike, I'd be in so much trouble, they'd be after me. And even if I got away with it once, I couldn't do it every day, like I, I do a lot. I'm just beating this thing. Last time I was uh, hurt going through here so that we're comparing it to. So I'm assuming the far driver, I'm not ripping it as hard. I was hurt, this shoulder injury was holding me back. 
Um, feels good to be back on it. Thankful that we're healing up. But she's holding up good. I wonder how the battery's holding up in there because I am romping on it. I've laid her down once or twice. Let's go see if we can get some more riding. Crashing the barbed wire, that'd be no fun. So yeah, we're in people's backyards, as you can tell. And uh, the beauty of the electric whoa, is no one's fussing, right? So we are in people's backyard. That's where we came from. So last time we ripped this way and it was shut down. I wonder, I could rip up there. I could try to get top speed. Right now is honestly not a good time for top speed because uh, it's busy. So maybe we'll do that Wednesday. I probably won't, I'll post it with this afterwards. But let's go see back here. I haven't been back here to see if it's still snowy since we've gotten like feet of, feet of snow. It's probably bumpy for you guys. Sorry. Another thing I keep forgetting to mention is you're seeing this display. This does not work on the flip sky. Uh, it works only with the far driver. So we just left it on there because far driver probably long term will go back here. But we do have the mount available on the website now in stock. Bumpy. I'm cold also. So I'm gonna do this video like a side by side with the far driver video of going in some of the same places just to see if we can like see a difference or whatever. And then we'll do like a one through 10 scale system that I've come up with, like going over throttle response, tuning, installation, and stuff like that. Kind of going through the difference of controllers. All right, let's uh, check some stuff. I wanna see if the motor feels warm too. I feel no heat externally on the motor really. Tad bit warm maybe, but that's cool. Holy crap, my eyes are dripping. Let's check out. Connect to the app. I know you guys couldn't see it very good last time. Let's try. 53%. So I have cranked down some um some percent getting on it like that. So, not too bad. Yeah, it's beautiful up here. I should have brought a hoodie. A little uh, chilly. But I guess we got pretty power. Let's go out to the end for the heck of it. It's been a minute. Yeah, my shoulder's back, so I haven't got a rip for a second. Feels good. Poor bike. I should have brought the other camera. I didn't. I was dumb. So this is where we usually run over cactus. Um, try to watch out. Here we are. So if you guys watched the video out from a few days ago, whenever I post it, that's what we were on. From there so looking over here here we are but yeah that's where we were riding the other day we went down through around town came out the back met up with some random Saran guys and 
they brought us up there. Didn't have the camera on until they left. But yeah, was, we'll, we'll get back up there. It's like way bigger than I expected. It's crazy. Yep, there's the cactus. Yeah, I've ran a lot of cactus over with the B1, and it's been good so far, knock on wood. See, there's that throttle kill. That's why I'm dropping it there. Dumb. So we'll figure that out, charged up. Hopefully it'll help me out. And then we can share it with you guys once I'm dialed in. I don't think the controller's going to blow up once I give you the tune. Yeah, I should set a camera up so you guys can see me do like a rolling burnout too, because she just rips it. Oh, there's cactus. Not too shabby. It's kind of cold. I'm chilly. So if you guys wonder if this, the horn sounds weird, it does sound weird. So I don't know what's up with that. There it is. It's because the wire keeps coming out loose. <laughs> so, there it sounds better. That's what's going on. The flip sky, right now, the throttle response could be like snappier. The far driver, I would say, is a little snappier, but um, it's all that kind of things. Personal preference, and I think, can be kind of tuned with both of them a little bit. It is nice having three speed to turn into eco mode via switch. Uh, I think I can cut across here. Yeah, and also if you're wondering, if you don't know, I am six foot, like two or three probably. So I am a super tall guy on the pit bike. I'm a pit bike kind of guy, but not bad, not bad. Guys, this thing is like vertical. <laughs> I hit my knee. Uh, I just cannot crash it's a crash free life as I go into the unknown. I think this is gonna be a sidewalk, so we're gonna be able to go like, poof, and this will be a sidewalk. We'll see if we can do that later in time. Oh, I almost lost a toe right there. That kind of makes me worried for the lower foot pegs. Shouldn't have my toes dragging though. We could maybe blast that. As the battery gets lower, I can feel it getting weaker, I feel like. Whoa, that thing almost jumped me over forward. Should I blast up the hill again just to see? Start from the bottom. Yeah, not as powerful without a little run. And I think she's getting lower on power. As uh, Voltron's always going back for that top off for. That most power is gonna be a full battery. So, it's that.
trying to get better at knee wheelies. Fall right. Dang. Yeah, so I'm getting 35 topped out right there, which is not super impressive. So we'll have to see if we can work with that as well. But not too bad. I think that concludes this little ride. Yeah, she feels good. 15.2, we didn't do 15, I think we had about 13, so that was about a little two mile hard riding on it. So make sure we're, oops, make sure we're connected. 24H. Come on, you got this. All right, sometimes you do just have to close out with these apps, just boot back in and now we're loaded. So 44%, I think we were right around 60 when we left. We took about 15% with that two miles or so. Um, so that is eating some more power and uh, I was just going up up hills. That's what I wanted to test. So um, ran pretty good. I don't know if you guys can see that on the ANT Ant BMS app. So we can see all our specs and all that good stuff of course we have uh the barcodes will be you know the barcodes are on your battery on there so you'll get a little ride thanks for watching keep updated we'll probably do a little back and forth i need to test this at 100 amps and do a full ride and see how many miles we get so We'll check that out. We'll try to get that tuning fix we talked about. And uh, other than that, we'll go from there and then move into the Razors with the 1020 motors. So we'll be testing with the 1020 right now. The far driver's in there. I don't know if you can see. We'll do the far driver test on here. Then we'll move that Flips guy into here. Then we'll move the Flips guy 100 Pro into here and determine those and then we'll move all those controllers through here probably not the 100 pro with fw11 and then the new kunray motor um, we'll test it through too so i'll probably do 48 volt with those tests as well on this bike so yeah check it out all right later guys